And I say, stop beating up on yourself. You do do it. I know you do it. I've done it. It's a natural inclination for us to put ourselves down. And when I start changing that kind of mindset of beating myself up because of my mistakes and start looking at the possibility of my doing better, of my making the adjustment that would enable me to do what I want to do successfully, things begin to change. And so if your life isn't everything it could be, you could ask yourself, well, what would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? You'd be, who knows how much more efficient, 10 times more efficient, 20 times more efficient. That's the burrito distribution. You have no idea how efficient, efficient you can get. It's completely, it's off the charts. There will come times when you will feel like giving up. It's easier for a human being to think negatively than positively. That's why only 5% are successful. For 30 days, you must take control of your mind. It will think only about what you permit it to think. Each day for this 30-day test, do more than you have to do. In addition to maintaining a cheerful, positive outlook, give of yourself more than you've ever done before. Do this knowing that your returns in life must be in direct proportion to what you give. The moment you decide on a goal to work toward, you're immediately a successful person. You're then in that rare and successful category of people who know where they're going. Out of every hundred people, you belong to the top five. So I'm saying to you, can nobody take your good? See, that which is meant for you has your name on it. No one can take your good from you. That's you. That work you've been given, that idea that you've been given, if you don't come out here with that idea, no one's going to bring your idea out of here. And I'm saying, in your hands, you have ideas. You have been given something to bring to the universe that was not here before you showed up. See, nobody, ladies and gentlemen, is going to give Les Brown's speech. This is my speech. It's not okay to make excuses. It's not going to slow people down. It's not okay to ask the world to stop so that you can step out front. You've got to develop your skill set. You've got to take what you have now. And if that's crawling, then fucking crawl. But you drag yourself ever forward to a vision of yourself because you, my friend, know exactly where you're going. You're willing to pay whatever price it takes to get there. And you will keep pushing forward and you will get better every day and no matter how many times people chop at you knock you down you will get back on you will crawl till you can walk you will walk till you run and then you will run until you fly and that my friends is the only path forward so if you want a fucking future that makes you happy if you want a world that you're excited about get your ass out there and earn it it's time you look within yourself and decide that i'm in charge of my destiny i'm in charge here We've all seen how the person who assumes success tends to already have success. People who assume failure tend to have failure. When either failure or success is pictured, there is a very strong tendency for that picture to actualize as fact and become reality. To assure something worthwhile happening, therefore, first pray about it and test it according to God's will. Then print a picture of it on your mind as happening, holding that image firmly in consciousness. Continue to check that picture to God's will, that is to say, put the matter in God's hands and follow God's guidance. Work hard and intelligently, thus doing your part to achieve success in the matter. Practice believing and continue to hold the picture firmly in your thoughts. Do this and you will be astonished. Here are some practical suggestions for changing your mental attitude from negative to positive. Such a change will release the kinds of thoughts that can help you make creative changes in your circumstances. 1. For the next 24 hours, deliberately speak hopefully about everything. Your job, your health, your future, 
go out of your way to put optimism in everything you say. Two, after speaking hopefully for 24 hours, continue the practice for one week. Then you can permit yourself to be realistic for a day or two. You'll discover that what you meant by realistic a week ago was actually pessimistic. And what you now mean by realistic is something entirely different. It is the dawning of the positive outlook. When most people say they're being realistic, they delude themselves. They are simply being negative. Three, feed your mind even as you feed your body. A healthy mind requires nourishing, wholesome thoughts. Start at the beginning of the New Testament and underline every sentence about faith. Continue doing this until you've marked every passage in the four books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Four, commit all of those passages to memory. Learn one each day until you can recite the entire list from memory.